Uh, when we lived in Broken Hill, uh, we used to go out to Silverton for a picnic, you know. And, and they had a door up the, this end, and with a opening at the top. In the pub. And they had a, yeah, at, at the hotel. And this horse, it was a white horse, he used to go there, poke his head in that door, in that window, whatever you call it, and he'd just stand there and wait. And they'd put down a pint of beer. <laughs> and he'd drink that pint of beer, that horse would. And enjoy it. And enjoy it. <laughs> And when he finished, it, the glass would go down there. Never dropped it or anything. Put it down. Just turn around and trot away. <laughs> and well, wait for the next day for the next meal. Well trained. Yeah. He'd lift up the glass with his lips. Yeah. And, and he... <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm saying it. Really? Tipped up the glass and drained it. Yeah, he could do it easy. In one gulp? Oh, no, he put it down and then he'd have another go. <laughs> no, he, he, he was a clever horse, that. <laughs> I wish I had a movie of that. Yeah. Well, look, the picture's there on the wall in, at Silverton. In the hotel? Yeah, the horse drinking it out of the mouth. What was his name, do you remember? No. In Tasmania, you know, they've got a pig that does that. There you are. Uh, drinks a bottle of beer. Uh, it's a good thing for the proprietor of the pig because mm -hmm. I think he charges a mission to go and see the pig and then the people, uh, the audience, are required to provide the bottles of beer. Mm. And you hold out the small, uh, what do you call it, a small bottle of beer. Uh, How does the pig pick it up? And the pig, the pig apparently picks it up, uh, and they hold it and twist the uh, top off it, and then the pig just swills, the, uh, gets rid of the contents in one mighty gulp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they can do anything if they try. <laughs> uh, 